Hello and welcome to this continuing live code series on creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. Today we're continuing the Western Friend website migration. Take a quick look at our Western Friend is the official publication of Quakers in Pacific, North Pacific, and Intermountain Yearly Meetings. That's the Western United States. Reporting this website from Drupal over to Wagtail and Django. I've been tweaking uh, <laughs> this Twitch highlighter plugin today. It's worth mentioning. It's running on the channel. It's connected now. And I'll be setting up a little reminder in the chat on how to use the Twitch Highlighter, but it allows you to highlight a line of code on the screen. It's a VS Code extension. So let me tell VS Code my working in Python here. And uh, I can set up a periodic event real quick in my Twitch bot. Let's see. Look at this plugin. I think there's a I think I can just, uh, let me see if there's a, it seemed like there was an example of one I could put in the Twitch bot. But let me just try setting up a timer. I'm not sure how the timers work here, but it uh, looks like each timer is going to have an, they all have a shared interval, so every five minutes. Just as a test, if it gets annoying, I'll disable it. Yeah, there it goes, it worked. I have a line of code with, all right. It's a little hard to read. In any case, today we're going to be working on the community page. fruit. In the last uh, session we created an events page um, and today I'm going to link it to the community page. I'm going to put a little block here. I'm not going to do the images yet. So 
to activate our virtual environment on the server. Double check out the events. We have the events table here. Um, so last uh, session I was trying to decide whether or not to have a uh, top level menu link. But on the main website we don't have that. So I'm going to try to stick with this as the reference implementation. And add a block here, just a basic block with some configurable text. So I guess I could start, I want to do an outside in approach to this development. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's start with the, the template, see how it'll look. So we'll go over to the community templates and here's the community page. So here's the directory section, page intro text, which comes from This intro field. And what we'll do today is add another field. So let's go ahead and mock this up though. And so we've been using this bootstrap panels, bootstrap uh, three panels. So we're going to be, for now, porting over to bootstrap four. I don't know if there's uh, any other CSS framework we might end up going with. So let's just go ahead and, I mean, I think bootstrap is pretty solid and simple to work with. So eventually it might be nice to have an image cap card because I, I see that the editor is wanting to put some images to liven up the page. Um, so it might be a good to have a consistent way of doing those. It would be cool if there was left and right aligned image cards, but it seems like the cap, the card image goes on the top. There may be something on boot snip that shows examples. different image alignments. Hmm. I don't see any just scanning really quickly. So try to internalize this. We'll want a div. This is a card. And I think I should turn down the frequency of this Twitch chat timer. Using Phantom Bot for this Twitch chat, Twitch chat bot. It seems pretty good. It's open source. It runs locally. So for the card title, you can just put a header. So actually the title's inside of there. So it's a little bit inconsistent. 
these two cards have a title inside, and the Western Print directly has directory has uh, sub blocks. Okay, not a big deal. generator it's gonna work no I'm not even sure what that what that is Oh, it does have some built-in lore maps. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's actually unexpected. Jeez. Ah, is this coming from Wagtail or Django? Tagging Django. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I noticed is our spacing is a little bit funny. Uh, we don't have a card body, that's why. So yeah, we're clearly not going to want that much spacing. And is my class wrong here? Let's see, what do we have? Card title, H5. I guess this also needs to be inside of the card body. Hmm. Card title. In which case, this can be a div. Looks good. Give it a little bit of spacing. They're kind of bumping up against each other there. That makes it a little hard to see the differences and changes. But now it won't change. So I can hit MB5 and just see the effect of the spacing without the changing text. Cool. Okay, so now we got the basic template mock-up. Let's go ahead and start working on the model. So the community page um, is modeled in the database. It has a series of fields. mainly two fields. One is an inherited field. The title comes from the Wagtail page model. And the other field, intro, is mm, added to the class. 
instance or whatever that would be called, subclass. I'll add just another um, field called events intro. Not sure if intro is the right word here. Migrate those changes. Run the server again and just take a quick look. Reload the page. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. Now we need to add a panel. So we'll display the UI. Let's avoid some typos here. I don't think that requires a <coughs> migration. Grab the real text. Might as well grab this. So it starts to feel more like the real thing. Publish those changes. Now if we view this live, it still has the old text. So to get that into the template, we just grab the page. Event central. That's rich text. This rich text filter helps to escape out any dangerous or potentially malicious code. Otherwise, it would just uh, format as raw HTML. All right, so that's working. Let's go ahead, commit these changes. And the next, I'll have to create a link. thinking I wonder how it's just inconsistent we go from section header to card to section header <laughs> so it looks kind of so either I should maybe drop the card or add a card to the welcome section I'm not going to focus too much on design as long as it just doesn't look horrible. But I think generally less is more. Uh, maybe these are good because they delineate the different yearly meetings. But the card might be unnecessary here. Let's get that link in after I commit these changes though and take a look. Because this whole card could be a link. In which case that would be useful. community slash events would be all right but in any case this is not too bad now the markup here this is these are list group items and uh, I kind of like this effect where you can click one of those anywhere on the block look at that but it also doesn't have like that blue highlighting the blue text which is a little bit uh, I don't know strong it kind of stands out where most everything is monochromatic so let's take a look at the events template and see if there's some classes I can borrow from I think 
it's this one that's See what this looks like if I just say a href I should be able to get the URL for this. How do I get a uh, a router URL? Take a look at the URLs. Okay, that's a challenge. So this is one thing, one of the, I guess, downfalls of having Wagtail do the magic for you. Since this is an events page, Wagtail is doing the wiring and the routing for me. <laughs> that means I didn't register a route name with the view because it's not a single instance route. It's actually a class of uh, actually this is the one we're looking at anyway. It's an events index page instance which only allows one instance so I'm gonna have to just hardwire this for the time being. Hmm. I like that but okay. Yes yeah, so everything's blue. I don't it's not so desirable. as a link. That might be okay. But let's have a call to action button. So it's just standard.
think I need to put it inside the card body. Indentation here would make that easier to realize that I was working outside the body. View events, all right. Text center the whole card, I suppose. Let's see what it looks like. Kind of with a button to be in the middle. I'm not sure if anybody in the chat has uh, any opinions on this. I'm kind of, uh, I don't have a strong opinion about whether, the, for example, the title should be the link or I should have a call to action button here. I did find a really cool example. I think it was the part of the picture background. here but I like the idea and I could tweak the text so it had more contrast just see what the hero or jumbotron so jumbotron has call to action not a lot of examples Necessarily needed to be uh, have an, a gray background. Like probably out of these components, the cards can be the most relevant here. Okay, let's try that. Hey, Trev, card link instead of a button. A little more subtle. 
Yeah, I like that. Yeah, with the center. Cool. All right, let's call it good. For what it's worth, we have this. Uh, where did it go? Oops, wrong button. These spices, simplicity, peace, integrity, community, quality. What's the second? Uh, can't remember. But I'm trying to use those heuristics in this design process. That second S means something as well. <laughs> so in other words, simplicity, kind of keeping this design simple. What's the? Simplicity, peace, integrity, community, equality, stewardship. Oh, actually, that's one of the most important ones as well. I don't know if they're all equally important, but uh, it's certainly very important. Stewardship, okay. Learn something new. Yeah, I like this, and these uh, links will kind of just display in line. It's pretty rad. Just a simple class can give me such nice... Uh, Design aesthetics. It's pretty simple. Okay. So let's just say, what do we do here? Add, a, add a view events link. Ah, right, right, right. One second. I need to clean up that href. community page. This is no longer an anchor, so that href is just junked and should be cleaned up. I guess that's the stewardship part. Okay, so now we just, I justify the text, so I don't know, just a little cleaner. All of this text isn't justified. I prefer it. Let's see, what are we doing here? We don't have to text justified on this site. Maybe I won't make that call. Yeah, because it doesn't look that bad without it. That was essentially what I wanted to set out to do today. I don't want to overwhelm myself too much. But we got the, um, the tricky part was getting this pagination and everything set up last time, doing the initial data model for the events page. Um, can still get back to the community going forward. Still get to these individual sections. Yeah, so it's looking good. Things are, you can keep moving forward. You don't have to hit the back button and most of the stuff is accessible within a couple of clicks. Again, we didn't add this this events page to the top level menu. You have to go through the community page. Not a big deal though. Magazine issue, showing articles. Okay, great. Push that to get, I'm trying to think what else I can work on. On the community page, this is the app I'm, I'm mainly focusing on right now. We have a couple of other blocks, that are, uh, an HTML block for Western Friend Connect. I don't know if editor is going to, uh, Mary Klein is going to want to use this as just regular HTML with images. I have to figure out how to, to align these images inside of these blocks. Can put images. Let me see how that works. This is Ghost Ranch uh, near. It's in New Mexico. I can't remember how close it is to Albuquerque.
there's an Intermountain Yearly Meeting that meets um, once a year. And oftentimes they're in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but it could, could vary. But friends from Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming, uh, all these monthly meetings go to Ghost Ranch. It's a pretty rad place. The uh, intro scene to one of the Indiana Jones movies was filmed on this 21 thousand acre ranch and retreat center. Abikukui. 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 Tabs up. So let's try this event center just to see how it's going to handle images. And what we're trying to move away from is having blocks of HTML. Containing various types of media. Preventing me from seeing what's going on. If I delete it, oh boy, you can't. What if I insert it here? Left a line. Alt text is required, I like that. And just publish that. So at the very least, we can insert uh, images. There's no control over the sizing, so that's a problem. Unless, now I see it, whoops. I can delete it, that's about it. What about up here? Same thing. Whereas I think if we, I could try this, I could try this. Image cap. So basically, we'll need a media field. Hmm. I'm getting worried that oh, I'm going to overextend myself here. And I'll have to roll back some changes. So let me hop over to GitHub real quick. Full changes. Create a new branch. All right, good. <laughs> Close a few of these tabs. Stewardship. Got to remember that. Been checking this out. Uh, looks like it. Django project is moving over to code formatting with black, so it's not without debate um, and discussion, and maybe I don't think controversy is the right word, but definitely um, 
not everybody is 100% on board, but I think they um, they were able to get past differences and so the project is adopting black. That was approved. I should say that. Hmm. Something. So, I don't know, just trying to follow what's going on with the Django core. Oh yeah, it's accepted here. And also we're using black in this project as well. It's so, pretty cool. Django devs. Django enhancement proposals for the Django project. I mean, it's a really good project. I just think it's got really, it's got good governance, um, batteries included, well designed, like good user experience. I was surprised that the Ipsum thing just worked. So let's go ahead and delete this. Oops. Figure out how to do a wagtail. Image field. I think this is not specific to wagtail. Stockman. Image chooser, yes. Ah, oh, this is the editor's guy. Same semantics here. Card image. Uh, card image. But I don't necessarily want to commit to doing hmm, a card. Let's just call it what it is then. Vince image. No street blank. Set no related name. Now I will get a field grouper to group these events fields together. Multi field panel. Same heading string. Chooser panel. It's probably here.
detail images of the handlers, okay. I'll have to run this migration in a second, so this can be the events image. I'll group these together. I'll show what it looks like without it first. And then we'll add the grouper. So if we go to edit, oh, wait a minute. And what's up? Text. Should be there, should be visible. Oh, okay, I hadn't saved it. something random migrations community three be careful especially when copying and pasting it's easier to either in this case forget to copy something crucial because I didn't really read it or fail to read it and not understand it I understand what's going on that's another thing all right so anyway Was I editing the wrong page? I think so. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, it's 5.30 in the morning here, so bear with me. So now we can choose the image. And edit it. Oh, dude, this is super cool. What's that going to do? Now how do I display the template?
So it looks like, is the resize rule optional or? Well, let's just try this. 400 seems reasonable. So for the card, image. So it's outside of the card body. Card, image, top. I wonder if you can actually put these on the side and stuff and it's just not documented here. That would be pretty nice. And here's where we put that. expand it. How do I add a custom class to this? I think this is going to expand the whole. So if we view this live. Did I save that? Perfect. Uh, okay, and so this is page. Use the correct field. See, it hadn't saved it. I must have. I think I clicked edit image before saving it. Okay, so that was the deal there. Community view live. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so yeah, it expands the whole thing. Um, yeah, so I got an image with alt text and everything for me. In the correct source path. And width constraints. So let's see if I can pass in a class. Yeah, just put it right there. Uh, it was what card image top, I think. Without this, that's going to throw an error.
Yeah, something seems up. Uh, it's like I'm not applying the right class or something. It's back to right. They're not the right class. They're not the right mockup. So we had a car image. Car. Maybe it's IMG. We try a smaller size. Oh, geez. This is totally a guess. Let's see if I can put it on the right hand side. So recently this is updated, well, 20 days ago. Mm, it's getting a little bit stale. Never has gotten out of beta. Deflex flex road. Well, it did have the effect. Ah, uh, there's not. I'd like to express that as a relative. Hmm. Oh well. Ah, oh, man, it's kind of irksome. Yeah, it would be nice if it was proportional. And ideally, it would take up the full height and then crop the image around the focal point. Let me see if there's these proportional, or if you have to do pixel values. Pixels. Where would we do that? Oops, ooh, that's big. Square crop, oh no.
fill. So width, you express the x-axis fill, then you can do the crop. That's a little bit better though. I think a square crop would work here. What's going on here? I don't want to ex include a beta library. Let's try that minimum. This seems to be the aspect ratio they're looking for. Let's take this off. Although it was nice to have that. stressful. I guess you can't have line breaks in these template tags. Are they dropping the ah, card image top class? You know, that's actually pretty dang close. This is freaking...
trying to figure out what the ratio should be, the aspect ratio. Is there a responsive image tag I should be using? kind of cropping around the thingy. I'll leave it alone. And hopefully it's, hopefully the editor will like it. I think it's definitely an improvement over just randomly placing H, uh, images in an HTML block, like a uh, rich text field. Gives you more consistency and kind of clean layout and contours. All right then, let me commit these changes. What does this look like on mobile, just out of curiosity? Oh, how do you get mobile view at 12? Just seeing if there's something magic about that number. I don't think there should be. No, and that spills off the edge. Looks good in roughly, I don't know, tablet size view. Up until this break point. Oh, that even looks okay. Just when I scrunch it down to about the size of a phone, then things start smearing. I think it's expanding with the text. I think that's the cause of that. So maybe I can deal with that. Overall, I like it. All right, so commit changes. Just take a peek at what we did real quick. Just a little bit of organizing here, but I added the, oh, the multi-field panel, yes. Uh, let me take that out of this commit real quick. we just have events image related changes. Yeah, there's only, you know, like one line of code. This flex row, that was, that was cool. <laughs> and D flex. I'll have to learn much more about Flexbox. I don't know that much about it at all.
Okay, so now the editor experience. See if we can improve this just slightly. Edit this page. So right now everything's kind of you know treated equally. We got a title, intro, events, intro, and events image. But let's see if we can group these. And I believe that's what the uh, multi field panel is for. So we'll close a few tabs. Yep, this was the deal. Did I already? Yes. Do we need the rounded? Let me just peek. out a few things come back over here open a pull request when I push those changes up get that multi-field panel in the example they give you just place it where you like it. So since we're showing the events related stuff after the intro, that's a natural place for the multi-field panel. And it takes a list. It will make it more obvious that it's a list by doing that. section. I wonder if we can change the labels of these fields now. So that if they're nested, I can just say intro and image. Anyway, it's not a big deal. It looks better. Just checking it, see if I can make a square focal area. Commit, push to get, hub. And since I'm doing my own PR, I mean, it's not really super formal. I just work in these branches so that I can roll back or sometimes things take multiple sessions. Sometimes I want to preview something, uh, demo it for, the, for Mary, the editor of Western Print Magazine. But this one turned out pretty good, so I'll just go ahead and rebase and merge. 
All right, well, we're at an uh, hour and 20 minutes. I think those are just a couple of good accomplishments. We've got a good pattern to follow now uh, and definitely improved over this layout. Uh, might introduce an, a welcome section or uh, an image to the, the intro text, maybe with right alignment this time, kind of balance them out. Um, I still have some work to do on the community, the Western Friend directory. We've got yearly meetings and Quaker nonprofit organizations. I'm trying to figure out how to handle these online worship links and friends everywhere. Uh, the common thread that I see is that they're basically, they all have a link, but there's some difference in the way the text is handled. Like they have an intro text or a description, and then these online worship. Mary's been listing the um, times of worship. This might be folded into the intro text if I make it a, a rich text area. So that could work. Then we could have a taxonomy, uh, so to speak, using uh, Drupal parlance. Uh, so we'd have a community, let's just call them community links, community resources maybe. Community links, I don't know. They would have intro text and URL, I could con uh, create a template that would display them and a filter so I could get them into these two more blocks side by side here in the community directory. I can work on that today, but I'm just kind of preparing myself for the next session. So we can round out this community page. I believe this Western Friend Connect could just be a free text area, so to speak, with three fields, a title, maybe intro for consistency in an image. That way Mary can link to whatever here in, the, oh, in a URL so that the title actually Seems to point to a page. Uh, I'll have to come back to this one. I think there's going to be some. I'll probably need an index page and treat these as their own content type. But I should be able to um, get a layout similar to this. And then these all have a URL to actually a Zoom channel. We're using Zoom for these conference rooms. So, okay, we can work through that. So still some work left to be done in the community section of the website, just getting a quick preview. And from there, we'll probably move back to the media library or work on the memorial minutes. Uh, we still need to do an online bookstore, including add to cart and payment functionality, as well as magazine subscriptions and donations and a contact form. So quite a lot um, of upcoming work on this migration from Drupal 7 to Wagtail CMS. Okay, well this has been a continuation of the live coding series, creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. Appreciate uh, everybody who's viewing here. And if you're on YouTube, I will try to respond to any questions or comments you leave down below the video. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.